Hello and welcome to Math Simplified. Germs, the umbrella term used for bacteria, viruses and other microorganisms are everywhere. At our home, in the office, even in our car. Luckily, about 99% of them can't harm us. But the other 1% can be annoying, uncomfortable or downright scary. Most of these pathogens are either viral or bacterial and can cause everything from a common cold to a potentially life-threatening infection. You may think you know the obvious places that germs propagate. It may be the doctor's office or your trash can or you think maybe it's a toilet seat. But I definitely meant it when I said that microscopic bugs are everywhere. Here is a list of surprising germ hotspots and the easy solutions to help keep you and your family safe and healthy. Number 1. Your cell phone. Drop your cell any place that's convenient. Well, research has found that they carry tons of sketchy bugs. In fact, a 2017 study published in the Journal of Infectious Diseases looked at the mobile phones owned by teenagers and found bacterial contamination on all of them. 100 university students were selected randomly and samples were taken from the surface of their mobile phones. These samples were then streaked on growth agars and bacterial colonies were allowed to grow. It was found that there was 100% contamination of all the mobile phone surfaces with a mean bacterial count of 9.9 .9 into 10 raised to power 7 colony forming units per milliliter and a total of 11 bacterial species were isolated. I mean, nowadays, most of phones are covered in leather or vinyl cases, which also provides plenty of creases and crevices for germs to hide. The solution is simple, keep it clean. First, be conscious of where you rest your personal items like restrooms. Generally, your best bet will be wiping it down with a microfiber cloth. I personally use a spirit solution and some cotton swabs to wipe down my phone every few days. And also don't forget to clean your phone case. Number 2. Kitchen Sink Bacteria from last night's dinner could end up on today's food and utensils if you're not careful. In fact, estimates show that there are often more than 500,000 bacteria in the kitchen sink. That is about 1000 times more than an average toilet seat. Bacteria and fungi love to grow on the crevices in and around the kitchen sink. That means your sink can be a party for bacteria contaminating whatever touches it. Dishes, utensils, even your hands. The solution is to at least once a week clean that kitchen sink with a diluted bleach solution. Soap and water aren't enough. Number 3. Dish Towels You know a sponge can harbor nasty germs, but dish towels are just as gross. A study of hundreds of homes across the United States found that about 7% of the kitchen towels were contaminated with MRSA, that is methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, the difficult-to-treat staph bacteria that can cause life-threatening skin infections. Dish towels are also rated on top for dangerous strains of E. coli and other bacteria. We often use towels to wipe up spills and then reuse them before washing them, which spreads germs. The solution is to stick to paper towels to clean countertops and don't use a towel to dry washed plates. Wash the towels at least once a week in hot water and bleach. Number 4. The Computer Keyboard The bacteria that lives on our skin, fingernails, hands and anywhere the hands have been are likely to be transferred over to our keyboard when we type. A typical computer keyboard has many small gaps and crevices where these bacteria can grow comfortably. One 2018 study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health states that eating above computers is one of the causes of bacterial contamination. Out of the 25 keyboards that were sampled in the study, researchers found that 96% of them were contaminated with bacteria. The solution is to simply wipe your keyboard down with a disinfectant wipe. Clean it regularly and do your best to get in between those keys. Washing your hands before and after working on a keyboard can help too. Number 5. Your Kitchen Faucet that metallic mesh at the end of the faucet is a total germ magnet. Running water keeps a screen moist, which is an ideal condition for bacterial growth. Because tap water is far from sterile, if you accidentally touch the screen with dirty fingers or food, bacteria can grow on the faucet, 
explains microbiologist Dr. Kelly Riemann at the University of Arizona. Over time, the bacteria builds up and forms a wall of pathogens called the biofilm that sticks to the screen. Eventually, that biofilm may be even big enough to break off and get onto your food or dishes. The solution is to keep it clean regularly. Once a week, remove the metallic mesh at the end of your faucet and soak it in diluted bleach solution. Replace the mesh and let the water run a few minutes before using. Number 6. The Welcome Mat It serves to greet not only your guests but also all the bugs on the bottom of your shoes. In fact, one study published in the journal Anaerobe found that out of the 30 homes which were analyzed, Clostridium difficile, a bacterium that causes diarrhea, fever and stomach pain, was found more commonly on the bottoms of shoes than toilet seats and other bathroom surfaces. This means that the area near your front door is one of the dirtiest in the house. Once bacteria plant their stakes in your mat, anytime you walk on it, you give them a free ride into your home. Spray the door mat once a week with a fabric safe disinfectant, such as Lysol disinfectant spray. Leave shoes at the door and avoid resting bags and grocery stores on the mat. Number 7. Vacuum Cleaner It's all in the bag, including spreadable germs. Vacuums including the brushes and bags are like meals on wheels for bacteria, says Charles Joba, who is a PhD in Microbiology and Environmental Science at the University of Arizona. You suck in all this bacteria and food, creating an atmosphere for growth, and the dust they emit sends those particles back into the air, particularly the bacteria and the mold. Change your vacuum bag frequently and do so outdoors to avoid the cloud of bacteria that filters into the air. Vacuum bags that feature antibacterial linings are best and are available from many major brands. Clean the cavity of a bagless vacuum with diluted bleach and let it air dry. Number 8. Your Car Dashboard Research has found that this is your vehicle's one of the most common spot for bacteria and mold. Air which carries spores and bacteria gets sucked in through the vents. It's often drawn to the dashboard where it can deposit the spores and germs. Since the dashboard receives the most sun and tends to stay warm, it's prime for growth. Regularly swipe the inside of your car with disinfecting wipes. Be more vigilant during the allergy season as more than 25 million Americans are affected by asthma which is caused in part by an allergic reaction to mold which could be building up inside your car. Number 9. Soap Dispensers About 25% of the public restroom dispensers are contaminated by fecal bacteria. Soap that harbors bacteria may sound ironic but that's exactly what research has found. Most of these containers are never cleaned, so bacteria grows as the soap scum builds up. And the bottoms are touched by dirty hands, so there is a continuous culture going on feeding millions of bacteria. Be sure to wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds with plenty of soap and water and keep your soap dispenser clean by using spirit or bleach solution to clean it once a month. Number 10. Shopping carts. Think about it, hundreds of people go from cart to cart every day while shopping with potentially unwashed hands. In fact, after sampling 85 different grocery store shopping carts, University of Arizona researchers found that cart surfaces harbored even more bacteria, including the E. coli and salmonella, than what is typically found in public restrooms. The solution is to at least wipe down the handle of your grocery cart before you start reaching for fresh produce. If you find that your local store doesn't offer disinfectant wipes, carry your own travel pack to keep on hand. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below and also make sure to watch the other videos on our channel about how you can keep your immunity healthy and fight off viral infections. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye bye.